guys, my name is Anna Absolute. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload. I post one of these kind of videos once a week and I go live once a week. So if you're a fragrance addict like me and you love fragrance content, subscribe to my channel. You won't regret it. I mean, if anything, I'm going to subscribe, but also please don't. <laughs> Guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my 10 most used fragrances this summer. Summer 2020 was not very eventful, but I still wore fragrances daily. So today I'm going to share with you the fragrances I actually wore the most. Fragrance addicts, this is in no particular order. So let's get into the list. First on our list is I Love Love by Moschino. I'll try to put that in focus. I got a new camera, so. I Love Love by Moschino. Guys, it smells identical to Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. I think it's identical to the Intense version and not the original with a sweeter orange in this one. Light Blue does last longer, but this is cheaper, so, you know, give and take. This is how much I've used from it. I love this scent. Orange, sweet, zesty notes. On first spray, I think there's, um, I got fragrance in my mouth. I am pretty sure there's grapefruit in the opening on this. And then a sexy musk on the dry down. This is a beautiful fragrance. Literally everywhere, anywhere. You will get compliments. People love this one. That is I Love Love by Moschino. And at number two, I've got Dolce Garden. Guys, I wear her all the time. All the freaking time. And if you guys like Magnolia, I, Frangipani, Coconut Milk, and Almond Milk, this is for you. This does give a slight um, suntan lotion vibe to her. Mm, that is freaking beautiful. I love her so much. Very tropical, very um, beautiful and creamy. She doesn't really project on me, but on uh, when I spray her on other people, she projects really well. So I guess it just depends on your skin chemistry, but test this one out. She was $35 on FragranceNet, I believe, when I bought her. Who knows what the price is now since um, we've been talking about her so much. But guys, she's so beautiful. Mmm, -hmm. and that is Dolce Garden. At number three, Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche. I talk about this little bad boy a lot. Mmm, so good, so fresh. This is what they wake up bears with in hibernation. Literally, when I first sprayed this, I felt invigorated. There is tons of citruses, zesty notes, and woody notes. Mm, and for a freshie, this is pretty long lasting. I get eight hours on this. And on clothes, this lasts a very long time. I really love this fragrance. Literally can't live without this. If I was in a fire and I had to grab one fragrance, this would be it. That's saying a lot. Yes, I wear this anywhere all the time. Guys, at my number four spot, I have Jor Aqua di Gioa by Giorgio Armani. Guys, this is an easy, sweet wear, minty, a little musky on the dry down. There is a lot of pink pepper in this as well. I really love it. Um, guys, I also bought a backup bottle when Armani went 40% off. I don't know if they still have it. Go ahead and check. Um, I bought a backup bottle. A lot of people were asking if they have reformulated in this bottle. And I would have to say, I think they have a little bit. Um, the older one is more sweet and more minty. Um, and this one is more citrusy. Just a little bit though, they're still like, they're still basically, if someone was wearing this, I could guess that they were wearing Aqua Di Gioa. So, uh, you know, try them both out. I think they are still selling these on um, Fragrance X and Fragrance Net. So it, the old bottle is the one with the little round top on it. So definitely, if you wanna keep with your original, buy that one, but the new one is still good. I do love it. Just there is a little slight difference to me. Guys, at my number five spot is Ariana Grande Cloud. Um, guys, I've been wearing her so much this um, over the past two months since I bought her. I probably wear her once a week at least. She's an easy throw-on fragrance. 
like if I'm just leaving the house, going anywhere, she's just a, like a dumb reach. Always gonna match what whatever you're wearing. Definitely fresh and definitely crowd pleasing. Some people don't like it, but I think it's crowd pleasing. To me, this is like a marshmallow, like a woody marshmallow. I don't know, like an aromatic, like an aromatic marshmallow. That's that's how I can describe this fragrance. Yes, very similar to um, Baccarat Rouge 540. A lot of people have talked about it. Very expensive fragrance that I may or may not get. Kind of want to get it, but um, very similar. But on the dry down of this, the marshmallow comes out and this is definitely sweeter to me. At number six, oh, I've worn this one so much since buying her. And that is Poison Girl Unexpected, guys. I told you how much I love the original Poison Girl, but since buying her and putting Poison Girl back into my collection, I like Poison Girl Unexpected better. Longevity is not great, moderate at best, but I don't mind keeping her in my purse and respraying her. Can you guys see that? <sighs> she is, I get a lot of licorice and vanilla and orange. Mm -hmm. Oh, also almond. Um, after spraying, well, upon first spray, like after the first 10 minutes, the almond really comes out in her and she's so good, so good. I love her, so sweet. Honestly, pretty identical to the eau de, to the eau de toilette of the, the line, but um, just an added ginger note on the first, that lasts for the first two hours at best two hours maybe one hour but i love her so much i've been wearing her a lot she stays in my purse along with dolce garden and i love love and chanel chance <laughs> make up your mind anna we want to know what's your favorite i can't choose at number seven i wear this when i am going to family members houses Lately because that's all that's all, the only place I've been going lately. I haven't really been able to spend any time with my friends because of 2020 madness, but When it is a bit of an event for Family dinners. I've been wearing Lalique Soleil guys. I really love her. I think she's beautiful Pond first spray literally I, you get a blast of orange juice cardamom makes the entrance cardamom is this spicy addictive deep nuttiness maybe not nuttiness but that's kind of this also has almond in it so maybe that's why i'm saying nuttiness but ah, oh, she's so beautiful and then there's pralines in this and it gets very it's just a very sweet gourmand there is pear in this i don't get a lot of pear it just makes this like extra sweet think orange sweet goodness candy like fragrance you're like anna that's not that great of an idea it's good okay it's good she's beautiful i get about seven hours longevity on her and she does project and i get a lot of compliments on her as well at number nine every time i've worn this this summer i've gotten a compliment on it and that makes me want to wear it more and that is meliora by parfums de marley guys meliora is a mm a sweet berry fragrance honestly it smells like if there is such thing as a berry moscato that's what this smells like to me it's very linear it doesn't change much there is a little there is vanilla in here and but to me it doesn't really get creamy on my skin it's mostly like just tart berries but not tart so maybe the vanilla kind of just sweetens it out um do i make sense do i make sense i don't know but guys i love her um people love her on me people love her on me is that dirty yeah, anyways guys she is beautiful sweet bright clean berry fragrance i love meliora i'm always staying in my collection and at number 10 this will be no surprise to anybody i basically wore this anytime i could in public <laughs> And that is Oud Jean Intense by Fragrance Dubois. Guys, oh my gosh. You're like, whoa, really, really aggressive there, Anna, really aggressive. Guys, afraid, oh. 
Like bury me with Oud de Jean, please. Beautiful fragrance. Mm. Beautiful. Pineapples, tiari flower, frangipani, I think. Possibly not frangipani. Coconut milk. Mm. Vanilla. This is a warm exotic fragrance. I hate using the word exotic. <laughs> this is a warm tropical fragrance. Also fruity with a touch of oud. I would say the oud is almost invisible, but it really just adds like a sexiness to this fragrance, like a come hither kind of um, feeling to me to this fragrance. It's super sexy, super tropical, and oh, I want uh, all over my body all day, every day. <laughs> Guys, this is a great one. Longevity on this, I think is pretty long. When I take a shower at the end of the day, it is still, like I can still, I can smell it while I'm showering, but I don't really smell it on me. I don't know if it's cause I get anosmic to it or what, but she's beautiful. <laughs> So really, she can do no wrong in my eyes. Anyways, guys, that was my most worn fragrances of the summer. All great. If you're going into the summer season, try some of these out. Tell me what you think of them. If you guys are just getting out of the summer season, comment down below what you guys have been wearing the most. Or if you guys hate some of these or like some of these, let me know. Um, thank you guys for being here.